Hi, and thank you for tuning in to another short and sweet suggestion from Shifting Schools on how you might use ChatGPT to save you a little bit of time. If I'm honest, I think this actually might be my favorite way of saving time with ChatGPT. Like many of you, I'm guessing, email can take up a lot of headspace, a lot of time. So in this short and sweet tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you might have ChatGPT give you the starting point for a series of different emails as well as letters of recommendation. These are all things that we can customize and personalize, but I would say using ChatGPT in this way sort of saves about 65% of the thinking time and energy in getting those templates ready. If you like this, you might also want to check out our free guide, Seven Suggestions for Saving Time with ChatGPT. As always, our bank of free guides is available to you at shiftingschools.com. So ready to see the power of ChatGPT in terms of letters of recommendation and email templates? Let's go. So here I am entering into chat GPT, some of the details, I need a letter of recommendation for a high school senior applying to a university. And I'm going to make note of a few things that I want the letter to focus on um, a few activities that the student was a part of, and then also a few of the key characteristics. And so what you'll notice is chat GPT does a really good job of giving me a clear format to play around with. I wouldn't use this letter of recommendation to the T. I would go in and personalize it a little bit further. But like I mentioned in the introduction, this is getting the rough draft all taken care of. And I really appreciate that. Now, moving on to email, something that I really think is important is that every once in a while I'm reaching out to parents and caretakers with good news. Of course, it's not always easy to find the time to do that. So I would head to ChatGPT, um, put in a good news scenario. I maybe would do two or three of these, and then I'm going to have ready to roll templates that, again, I can customize, I can add in a few additional lines to make it highly personal, but um, now I'm going to have some structures that are ready to roll. So sending those emails home really just takes me about one or two minutes. And just as way of example, if that's not your writing style, I can actually say, hey, ChatGPT, make it a little less formal and include a few emojis. If you're often including emojis in your email, go ahead and ask ChatGPT to do that for you. If you found that suggestion useful, you might want to check out the rest of our full free guide or head on over to shiftingschools.com to see other ways we can support you in thinking critically about tools like chat GPT in the classroom, in the school and beyond. Thanks for watching.